So we're in the, my My House folder, and I've put the family in there. I could always add a folder inside this folder. And again, I tapped on the um, Edit button, and here it is, Add a Folder. So I can make a new folder, and maybe inside I'm going to make it Toys. Okay, and I'm going to click Done. And now when I go to Toys, oops, I'm sorry, I'm still in the edit mode. I always forget that. I'm going to go to the Toys folder. Now I can go into the pin, which is the Edit. I can add a button, and maybe one of my students' toys at home are their blocks. Okay, and I can say Done. And now inside that folder, inside my toy folder, I have the word blocks. If I go back to the My House folder, I have parents. But remember, every time you have to hit a folder to navigate to a new page, it can be very cumbersome. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the home page here. All right? So we've added a folder. We've added a button. And um, I'm going to add one more folder here on my home page. So I'm going again into Edit, Folder, New Folder, and this is going to be School. And I'll just use their photo, but you could get a photo of your child's school off the Internet. All right? So now I have two folders, My House and School. So let's look at some options we have while we're in our, our Student 4 profile. If this student is, is the lower level, th these are very, very small icons, and that's a lot of blank space. So let's go in our options here, and we're going to see what we can do. So up in our Student 4 is checked, and up in the upper left it says Options. So let's click on Options. And now let's look at what we can do. Let's look at the first one. See Student Options. Let's look at Appearance. So we want to show our messages. Now, our message window size, that's our size right here, is normal, but I might want it large for this student, or I might even want it very large. Okay, so we've made it very large. See how it expanded? Right. Uh, and again, you can change your text. You can have your text position below the image, above the image. Some of these are fine-tuning. Let's go to our toolbar size. Now remember, this is our upper toolbar and this is our lower. And for some students, tapping on that home button is hard because it's so small. So we can change our toolbar size. I'm going to make mine large. And see how nice and big they came out now? So that might be a lot easier for my student. Okay. I like to show my folder image, but again, there's an option you could take that off. Now, um, our view style is grid, but let's take a look at that. Okay, grid or list. I'm sorry. What I meant is number of columns. Right now, this is set up to have the maximum number of columns, six. Or actually, you could go even more. But that's way too much for my student. So I'm going to just make it two. So I have two columns. And number of columns. Now we can choose under Appearance Advanced, we can choose the number of rows. Mine is set as the same of columns, so I'm going to have two columns and two rows. But you can change that. You could have uh, more rows with two columns, whatever works, again, for your student. Okay. We can change the background color, and for some of your students, you might want to do this. It, it makes it stand out. So I'm going to cl click Bright Color, and let's use a nice blue. And see how that makes the button stand out nicely? Now, th this will be on every page. What you said here is going to be on every page, right? Now, my button spacing is compact, very compact, is the default setting. But that's those are too close. I might want to go very loose. Of course, that makes my button smaller. How about maybe just loose or even medium? So I decide, yes, I think that's better. There's some space around my buttons. They're not touching, and that might be visually better for my student. Okay. And we've got that. Okay, so let's look next. That was our view. Okay, on our button, right now our display is our image and our label. 
but I'm going to tap a minute and let's go into my house, okay? You might want these pictures larger. So we're back in, we're under appearance and we're under buttons. And here we go, under display, I can do the image only. And now I just have their pictures. If I don't need the text, I could do that and it makes the pictures much bigger. Okay. I'm going to go back and add both on for now, but you do have that option or you could just use text if you want. Okay. okay. And in typing, as you can see, it's minus set at Arial 25 points. You can adjust that also. Now this was all under appearance. Let's look at speech for a minute. My speech um, comes up Tracy, but I downloaded this boy, Josh. And I'm going to flip to him in a minute, but these are voices here you could download. And there's some young girls, there's some um, young boys, and then there's some men and some women. And it, I often work with students, so the young boy is really a better voice. So you're going to hear Josh. Hello, here. my name is Josh. I am one of the child's American English speech synthesis voices from the Academy. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> so under speech, you can look at your voices. He tends to talk, I think, rather fast for my students. So instead of normal, I'm going to make him speak. Hello. He's my name speak. is Josh. I am one of the child's American. So I don't, if you could tell, he slowed down his speech a little bit. Uh, I just keep the personalization on, but you can change the pronunciation of some words also. Okay, I like my buttons to speak, but you can change that. You could have it when you tap, nothing comes up. Okay, but let's keep it the way it is for now. And the keyboard view, again, speak as you type, I think is fine, but if you tap, you would have other, you could have it speak by each letter, speak by the word but I like it to speak by a sentence. Okay, So that was appearance, that was speech,